One of them brought up the price of related goods, factor PG in our formula, and how that affects demand. To explain the impact of a change in the price of related goods, we must again make the distinction between a change in demand and a change in quantity demanded. Or, in other words, we must know what causes a shift of the demand curve and what causes a movement up and down or along the demand curve. So, to test your understanding, true or false. A decrease in the price of a product increases the demand for a product. That sounds right to me. Um, at a lower price, I intend to buy more and therefore the demand is higher. No, the statement is wrong. And our student is confusing a change in demand with a change in quantity demanded. Remember what we learned from our market demand curve for fried chicken. A change in price can only cause a movement up or down the curve. If the price drops from 6 rand to 4 rand, the quantity demanded moves from 18 to 30. That's a movement along the curve. A change in price alone cannot cause a shift in the overall demand for a product. Other factors have to come into play for that to happen. Let's look at this further. With any given change in price, we have a corresponding change in quantity demanded. But we still know what quantity of fried chicken would likely to be bought at 2 rand, at 5 rand or at 7 rand. By looking up and down the curve, we can still work out what amount households will be demanding at each price. As long as we can work out with this single curve what quantity people intend to purchase at any given price, then overall demand hasn't changed. And we can trust in the simple, predictable relationship between price and quantity demanded. A change in demand takes place when you intend to buy different quantities than before at each price. And that's not caused by a change in price. It's caused by a change in any of the non-price factors, such as income, tastes, number of prospective buyers, the price of related goods, and so on. See if you can explain why the following statement is incorrect. High petrol prices have led to a decreased demand for petrol. No, the quantity of petrol demanded will decrease with a rise in price, but there isn't a change in the overall demand relationship we can still work out how much is demanded at each price. For a decrease in demand, or change in demand to have taken place, we would have to have seen a different quantity demanded at any given price. Now that would be a shift of the curve. And why the following is correct. An increase in the number of cars on our roads has led to a higher demand for petrol. Well, this is a non-price factor that's changed. At each price now, more petrol is demanded than before. A new demand curve is then formed, still indicating the amount of petrol potential buyers are willing and able to purchase at different prices. Until one of the other factors comes into play again, we'll only see movements along the new curve with changes in price.